it looks like we aren't done yet with on pivot so let's go again to our folder power query essentials and here i've got another workbook for number five on pivot three so when i open up this file again we are going to see another data set nothing seems unusual except that i will like to on pivot these columns i have here now another lesson with this is the fact that Power Query really doesn't care about the format of our data. So for example, even though here in Excel, you can see these things written as January 2023 inside the cells, but when you look into the formula bar that has the exact content in that cell, you will see all we have is one slash one slash 2023. So really, how Power Query decides to write the date is not really our headache. What really matters to us is that we have the exact content of those cells in Power Query. So in case we get to Power Query and you see something different from what you are seeing in this Excel, never bother about that. We never bother about that. So I'm going to import this into Power Query and we're going to see a completely different behavior again. And we'll use that to learn something else about how to really apply on pivot columns correctly. So here in my Power Query editor, from my home tab, I'm going to click on new source, Excel workbook, and I'm connecting to number five on pivot three. I want to pick up that worksheet called revenue and I'm going to click OK. All right. So if we go straight ahead to apply on pivot, the exact way we have been applying it before now, that means I'm just going to select column one. I'm going to hold control to select column two. Then I can right click and I'm going to apply on pivot other columns. Now, if I do this, you have to remember that on pivoting is about columns and it's about column headers. It is the column headers that you have that are going to form part of a new column. So currently now I've got column three, column four, column five as my column headers. So if I do on pivot other columns now, on pivot other columns, what you are going to see is that in my attributes column, all I have is column three, four, five, and six. And then in my values column, I have the content of each of those columns. So which goes to mean that whatever columns you will like to on pivot, whatever attributes of your data set you will need to convert from headers into column values, you have to ensure that those attributes are actually in your data header rows, right? So ideally, before we apply on pivot to this data set, apart from the fact that our data is meant to have headers naturally, it is even more so important because we want to apply on pivot so we are going to first of all go to transform tab and select use first row as headers which basically brings in those dates into our header rows now i can select city i can hold control to select state and then i can right click and peacefully on pivot other columns 